as the other video ended with the details the ammonia has read zero for a very long time nitrite zero pH very acidic water the softest that can be using distilled water from a RODI machine that is reverse osmosis deionizer I would now like to quickly mention the four sheds the Flaps has had this is the first one very dried very stringy the second skin which half would not unfold there are two pieces couple other small ones that tore off. Still wet. I like the show flaps third skin. If you look closely enough you can see the hemipenes on both the second and third sheds. The hemipenes can be seen. For those who don't know, males often shed their hemipenes, usually before breeding season. In the fourth and last shed, on January 11th, five days before his passing, exactly nine months after I got him, left in a ball. The first shed was noticed on May 3rd. Second shed, August 24th. November 29th, flap shed for the third time. <coughs> January 11th, start of fourth shed. Not to be discovered until the 14th which was in that ball in the back left corner.
I would now like to address some products I used that I believe benefited flaps and mimicked his natural environment as close as possible. Every water change, two tablespoons of Kemp Marine Black Water Expert were added to the water. Again, for a five gallon aquarium. Also, a fair dose of Kent Zoe, the tree in any lack of B vitamins. Not until this month on the 12th, did I start deworming flaps. Parasite Clear Tank Buddies by Jungle Laboratories. Second and last treatment was on the 14th. Two more treatments were planned for the 19th and 26th of this month. Charcoal in the filter. Petco charcoal. Anything works. like to address that I have no idea how flaps could have died. I'd like to believe it's a natural death, which would be a beautiful thing. Given all these specimens of captivity are wild caught, most of them full grown such as mine was, no idea how old they could be. Very likely he was in his last days. Like that uh, Boggles me is shedding five days before his death. I did have a Chrysopelia ornata subspecies, ornate tree snake, also known as a flying snake. I had for one month short of five years, she shed within a few months of her death. Her eating slowly eased to a stop. When treating with the Parasite Clear Tank Buddies, took out the carbon per instructions and I was to put the carbon back in today three days after the last treatment it's possible the lack of carbon to purify the water could have killed flaps but I highly doubt it especially with all six fish and the five babies making a total of eleven fish still alive and well if anything was toxic or impure I think it would have taken at least one fish with flaps White spot fungus is a possibility. And flaps will be examined in the third video to come. But I do not believe it is white spot fungus. At least I like to believe it wasn't, since he didn't have it for all the time I had flaps. <laughs> 